Hello, Mr. Kenor here. Today's lesson we're gonna be sorting into order. So for example, these cards are already sorted. Two, three, four, five, six. In class, you might have gotten into order shortest to tallest, uh, or you might have organized money, uh, like penny, nickel, dime, quarter, from least to greatest. And for today, we're gonna be sorting into numeric order. So smallest value to largest value. Now, humans are extremely smart. So if I picked up this set of cards and I needed to sort, I would just go here and then take this here and voila, it's sorted. But the problem is that was not a set of directions that I could then repeat with this group of cards here. Because if I tried to do the same thing that I had just done here, like take this guy over here and move these guys over here, whatever I did, it's not gonna have the same result. So we need to come up with a set of instructions that will work every single time. So for example, if I said move this two spaces to the left, move this space one to the left, move this one space to the right, great, that worked here. But if I come over here and I say, okay, take this one two spaces to the left, this one two spaces to the left, and this one one space to the right, they're no longer in order. So I'm gonna show you one way that we can organize cards into numeric order with a set of instructions that works every time. Okay, so we're gonna do something that's called the bubble sort. And the bubble sort is gonna take a few steps, more steps than if you just did it on your own. Again, if I did it on my own, I'd make one, two, three moves, and they're organized. But again, a computer can't just look at it and know what to do. It's not a human brain. So we gotta give it a set of directions. This penny will represent where I am in the computer program, just to keep, so that you guys know what I'm comparing. So the bubble sort starts over here on the left, and I'm gonna look at the number four. I'm gonna come over to my next value and look, and I go, is four less than three? Eh, incorrect. So these need to trade places. Now, is three less than four? Yes, I move on. Flip it over. Is four less than five? Yes, so I move on. Anytime it's, it works, we move on to the next one. I flip this over. Is five less than two? Eh, it's not, so I switch these. And again, the human would wanna start moving the two over here, but that's not what we're doing. We're doing one thing at a time. So now I'm looking at the five, and I move over here to the six. Is five less than six? Yes. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start over and I'm gonna keep doing this until I can move the penny all the way over without having to make any changes. As soon as the penny comes all the way across and I don't make any changes, then I know that everything's sorted. So let's look again. Is three less than four? Yes. Is four less than two? Nope, make the switch. All right, is two less than four? Yes. Is four less than five? Yes. Is five less than six? Yes, start over. Is three less than two? Eh. So let's make the switch. Is two less than three? Yes. Is three less than four? Yes. Is five greater than four? Yes. Is five less than six? Yes. So now if I go all the way through, I don't have to make any changes and I know now that they are sorted. All right, let me show you the bubble sort one more time. This time I'm gonna use a couple values that don't go right together. So we're gonna start at the end, we're gonna flip over, and then we're gonna compare. Okay, do we need to make the switch? Yep, because four is less than eight. Move over. Flip it over. Oh, those are in order. Nope. Make the switch. Move over. Make the switch. 
move over, make the switch. And then what do we do? We start over. Is four less than eight? Yes. Is eight less than six? No. Is six less than eight? Yes. Is eight less than two? No. Is two less than eight? Yes. Is eight less than seven? No. Is seven less than eight? Yes. Is eight less than 10? Yes. Start over. Four less than six? Six less than two? No. Six less than seven? Seven less than eight? Eight less than 10. Start over. We make that switch. Is four less than six? Is six less than seven? Is seven less than eight? Is eight less than 10? And now it's sorted, going from smallest to largest value. All right, that's the bubble sort. So what I want you to do is I want you to try it and take a video of you trying the bubble sort and let's see if you can do it. All right, good luck.